Hey everyone, welcome back to InfoGamer. In this video, we're going to keep building our snake game. In our previous video, we showed you how to create the controls for changing the direction that the snake is traveling. In this video, we are going to work on creating the functionality for the length of the snake. Now, in Snake, your, your snake, your player, starts out being only so long. And as you pick up more food, your snake will grow. And so we're going to develop that functionality. In this video, we probably won't go over the food. We'll probably save that for the next video. But in this video, we'll start the basics for having the snake grow in length. So let's get started by opening our game controller script. Once you have it open in Visual Studio, so there's going to be a couple of variables that we're going to need to create. So I'm going to create them at the top of my class, my game controller class. And there's two variables that are both going to be of type int. So let's type public int. And this one we're going to call max size. And the next one is a public int. And we're going to call it current size. Now the reason why we need these two variables is if we think about the problem and how we're going to have our snake start out being only so long and then grow if the snake is not that length, we want the max int variable to specify the length that we want our snake to become. And then we want the current length to keep track of how long our snake is currently. And so if they're not equal, then we want to make our snake longer and increment our current size until it equals max size. And if it equals max size, then we don't want to change the length. We don't want it to grow any longer. And so right now what we're doing is every single second or however long our invoke repeating is doing. So right now our invoke repeating is 0.5 seconds. So every half second our snake grows one unit. And so what we want to do is make sure that it grows one unit if they're not equal. And if they are equal, then we want to delete the tail. Because if we're adding one to the front and removing one from the back, then it'll stay the same length. And so to do this, we want to create a new function and it's going to be called tail function. So down at the bottom, I'm going to type void and tail function. And then there's no parameters, but inside the body, there's a few things that we're going to want to do. The first is create a new variable of type snake and we're going to call it temp snake. And we're going to set it equal to our current tail. Now that we have our current tail component or current tail unit of our snake saved into a temporary location, we can re-save our tail variable to be a new value. And so we are going to call tail and we're going to set it equal to tail.getNext. So get next returns the next component or the next unit of our snake from the current component. So we are selecting our, we're using our tail and we're getting the next component down the, the line or the list, the linked list. And so now that our tail has been saved, our new tail has been saved into the current tail variable, we can now destroy or remove our temp tail variable. So I'm going to type temp tail and then I'm going to call the remove the remove tail function which just destroys the current object. And so we're going to destroy the tail. And so now what we need to do is call this function, but we only want to call this function if the max size and the current size are equal. And so to do this, we want to scroll up to our timer invoke function and beneath where we call our movement function we want to add an if statement and so this if statement is going to be if current size equals max size 
then we want to call our tail function. So this line of code is going to keep it from growing any longer if it's already its max size. Now what we need to do is create an else statement for if current size does not equal max size. And since there's only two options, either current size equals max size or current size does not equal max size. And so because there's only two options, this if statement is covering one option. And all we have to do is put else to cover the other option. We don't have to put else if and then current size does not equal max size. Putting else is the same thing. And so inside the else statement, we want to say current size plus plus. And so our movement function is going to spawn or instantiate a new unit, a new head unit of our snake. And if there, if current size equals max size, then we also delete the tail unit and that keeps it from growing any bigger. But if current size is less than max size, it's going to add a head unit to the snake. Then it's going to skip our tail function, which is going to delete, which is going to skip the delete of our tail. And we're going to increment the current size. And I'm actually going to change something about this if statement. I'm rather than having it be current size equals max size, I'm going to have it say current size is uh, greater than or equal to max size. Now we shouldn't ever have current size be bigger than max size, but just in case it is, we want to delete the, the tail. So let's go ahead and save this and see how it works in our game. So we're going to need to change a few things in the inspector to our game control script. We're going to need to set the max size to the starting size that we want our snake to be. And so let's put four and then current size, let's put one because we have one unit that starts in the scene. Now let's go ahead and hit play and see how it works. So we're growing down and you can see that our snake hasn't grown any bigger than four cubes long. Now if we were to go to our inspector and change this to 10 and then our snake starts growing and it doesn't stop growing until our current size equals our max size. And I can bump this up a little more and if you watch the current size once I bump it up it's going to keep incrementing until it equals the same as our max size. So I'm going to change it to 50 and our it's going up. It's at 20, 21, 22. It just keeps going up every half second. And then once we get to 50 it should, our tail will start deleting and it won't grow any longer. Yep, and there it goes. So that's how you have your snake stay the same length until you pick up more food. And so in our next video, we're going to show you how to increment max size once you pick up some food. And if you increment max size, then current size is going to get incremented as well when it's not equal to max size. But if it's equal to max size, then it'll stay the same. So we'll see you next time. Make sure that you like and subscribe and share with your friends.